Hi, Clancy Boyer here, Fort Myers, Florida. Here to show you a new listing that we've just taken in, Living the Dream. This is a 2018 Sea Ray 400 Sundancer that I sold new. It's a fabulous boat. It has less than 200 hours on it on the big Cummins 480s. So it's the largest propulsion you can get in the diesel engines. And it's just loaded with options. Some of the options include the hydraulic swim platform on the back. It changes the boat from being a 40 foot boat to a 43 foot six inch boat. Along with a beam of 13 foot six inches, this boat has a lot of space on it. So beginning on the aft area here, you have a Kenyan grill. Heats up to about 500 degrees in five minutes. A sink area, storage drawers, all your shore power hookups, uh, wash down hose, teak on the, on the platform, teak up above, teak table. And you'll notice I'm not in the sun right now. We have the sure shade extended out. So if you're grilling and it begins to sprinkle or you need some shade, you have the sure shade to go out, covers the seating area, just makes it a nicer area out here. Let me show you something else. Okay, so as we come aboard, I want you to take a look at the hydraulic swim platform. It's a lot different than swim platforms of the past. Sea Ray's done some cool things here. Give you an idea. As a swim platform deploys, the steps cascade out. So you have a stairway instead of steps are having to jump up on it. A very cool setup. And it's easy as that to operate. So as you come aboard, we'll take a look at the cockpit. Come on aboard. So here we're in the aft area of the boat, which with this particular model, it brings the outside in and the inside out. So it expands your living area. So here I have it set up as a walkthrough door, but I'm going to change that over for you. So as we move it over, you can slide these doors all the way down. They pocket over here. And look at your continuous seating going all the way around. So as your guests are reclining, if you're having an evening at the dock, you have lots and lots of space to sit people here. Teak table that folds up, get out of the way so you can get in and out. Teak flooring, a couple of extra coolers over here just because they could. You also have a chill box on this boat, which is very rare. So underneath one of these aft seats, you lift up the cushion and it's actually a cooler box. So that's a pretty neat setup. Nice lighting out here, stereo speakers, televisions right here. It's just a great entertainment zone. So let's take a look at the rest of the boat. So as we enter into the Sea Ray, the 2018 400 Sundancer, one of the first things I want you to notice is how the boat transitions from the outside in. There's actually no step here, so no stumbling. They actually have drains in the floor, so you just step in. You have the continuous L-shaped sofa here that pulls out into a bed. This is actually a footrest, so you can sit down and put your feet up or flip it over becomes a coffee table. Slide it out, it can be another seat, whatever you like. As you move inside, you'll see that there's a television over here, along with the stereo system. The air conditioning is, is really nice in this boat. Blows out hard, keeps the boat nice and cool, and these are your vents. Instead of having big round vents or square vents, they've incorporated them into the ceiling. This is actually a speaker. They've really done a tasteful job on this boat. All of your controls, you're used to seeing on a Sea Ray, you're used to seeing in other boats, a cabinet here with all your control panel in it. This is what Sea Ray's done. So it's hidden away, easy to get to, and it doesn't take up a, a big corner of your boat. So that's another nice feature. Lots of storage. There's filler cushions for this bed that are, that are down below. So as you pull it out, there's filler cushions to fill in. Good size bed. As we move forward into the galley area, we've got a two burner cooktop, a silverware tray, just because it was a place they could put stuff and keep it out of the way. Refrigerator, microwave, lots of storage drawers, massive drawer here. All right, so as we move over to the helm center, I wanna point out you have a, a two person helm seat it's designed with bolsters that flip up so you can stand up to run the boat or sit down. Comfortable arm rest, foot rest. 
the boat is equipped and you'll see a lot of this stuff in the photos but I'll go over it real quickly anyway I mentioned it's got the big 480 Cummins engines but it's got the twin screen Raymarines the data vessel view it also has a Linko auto trim tabs which are pretty cool for people especially that aren't real used to running boats uh, the trim tabs are automatic so you can let the computer decide what's going on with it and you don't have to worry about it you have controls down here for your electronics also and then joystick docking so you have the bow thruster you can you can use it the boat as a traditional boat with a bow thruster or you can use the joystick and it will incorporate the props along with the bow thruster and do everything for you so you just go sideways and the boat pulls in sideways um, really handy for tight spots uh, heavy current heavy winds things like that so the boat's really set up to run comfortably you notice a huge opening i'm getting a little sun here uh, but it has a massive opening one piece sunroof here that transitions and it goes right into the slope of the windshield and out front you can see we've got the beach mode set up on the chairs i can still see to run the boat so if people are sitting out there it's not an issue uh, those also lay down flat so you have better visibility uh, but a very nice helm setup good air conditioning on your cup holders glove box just uh, stereos right here at your fingertips just they really thought about it when they laid this laid this helm out so let's take a look down below and see how the sleeping arrangements are so here we're moving down below we have a twin stateroom layout with a really nice head arrangement so come on down we'll take a look at it Wide open stairs, skylight, a lot of natural light down here. Very large bed. I had no trouble with it. I'm 6'2", and, and, and the bed's easy to, to lay on. A lot of natural light with the windows, opening hatch. But here's what's really special about this boat. There's lots and lots of storage area. So we open this up. You have a deep closet. I could climb in there, but I probably couldn't get back out. Nice shelving. And then this sets up nice. So this becomes a makeup area. We're getting ready. Everything's stored here. Kind of an ingenious way to hide all this and tuck it away where it's not in your way. And then you also have another seat back here. So in the evening if somebody's getting ready they can sit here or sit on the bed massive storage underneath the bed more drawers over here more closets another full closet on this side and then a television on a cantilever so you can get it whatever direction you like then you have a private entrance here for the head Okay, so as we move into the head area, you know we have a vessel bowl here, medicine cabinets, a real toilet, that's refreshing, and then a beam me up Scotty shower, closes up, instead of having curtains or, or some hokey folding door, this is really a nice setup, and then with the doors, you can lock this door and have privacy from the master, or you can lock the master door and have privacy from anyone entering the head area. They can't access the master area. So moving over to the guest suite. Air conditioning controls right here. So you can control the environment down here. A couple of things I really like about this guest area is the big air conditioning vent. It just pumps a lot of AC in here. I also like the storage under the beds. And the fact that you can just pull this up and then slide this bed over and, and you can have a twin bed instead of having them separated. So if you have the teenagers that are, don't touch me, don't touch me, you can separate the beds or if you need the beds together, you can. And then this boat is equipped with a full storage all the way along the outside over here. So those are very deep cabinets and you can store a lot of stuff inside of there. Entertainment, television down here and nice nice natural lighting uh, so it's it's a good area to hang out all right so that concludes our walkthrough of the 2018 sea ray 40 sundancer 
the all new model with the sleek lines and the sexy windows. It's just a great, great boat. Uh, once again, here's your air conditioning controls. We have a central back system that hooks in right here and all the hoses and everything are down below so that you don't have to lug a vacuum cleaner onto the boat. Uh, nice wood floor. You probably get a good look at that from up here. And give us a call. My name is Clancy Boyer. I'm at Marie Max and Fort Myers and my number is 573-470-7776. Talk to you soon.